When we create our AEC walls, we're not restricted to having the same components throughout the whole height of the wall, which means that we can introduce foundations into them. So when we draw our wall, we get to create the foundations too. So let's have a look at how we can do that in terms of creating the wall very, very easily using the automated command to create lines from wall under the AEC tools. So here we see I've mapped out the basic outline for the wall. That is the, the plaster, the block work, the insulation, the clear cavity and the brick outer. And then in addition to what we may have seen before, we've now got a foundation. I've shown this dotted just to uh, illustrate it here. But what we'll do is we'll actually make that component below the baseline, in fact 150 millimeters below the baseline, to give us our finished wall, which we see here. So the first stage in creating our wall, including the foundations, is to go to the AEC tools, pick walls, and then create wall style from lines. So yes, we've ensured that all our lines are horizontal. And now we're going to start from the bottom with our baseline. So there's our baseline. So we see we've got our wall style name, so we could call it wall with foundation, just making sure it's unique. We'd apply that. On the bottom here on the command line, it says indicate line one. Well, I've numbered up the lines here so we can just follow them through. So the baseline doubles up for line two, and then we can go to three, four, five, six, and then the foundation. And you'll notice that I haven't done the foundation as our first line. So I've started off at one of the main wall lines there. We now need to do an option end so we can go on to the next stage, which will be the allocation of the hatches. So typing yes and enter and nothing for the plaster work here. So I'll enter for that. Then we can select, select, enter, select, and then nothing for the concrete. Choosing our component makeup, we've got our plasterboard there, we've got our block work, we've got our insulation, we've got our cavity, so, so it's our air gap, and then we have our brick. And then finally, we have our concrete for the foundation. So we can finish that, and there is our wall style created. At the moment, it is all above ground, so we need to tweak this to make it into something that relates to our foundation requirements. Having created our wall, we can now utilise that within our drawing. Now here I've got just a standard length of wall, and rather than drawing one, I'll just change the type of wall to our wall with foundation. Okay. So there, there is our wall, and you'll see that in the 3D view, using Fong rendered with the uh, uh, edges, we, we've got everything the same here. So what we're going to do is just go to our AEC walls, go to the styles, and load a, a saved preset. So I'll come down to one of the ones with the DSF, so that's a deep strip foundation. So any of these will do. So you can literally just pick on that one, load it, simply to get the material styles within our drawing. So we can OK that, but then we don't need to draw with it. We can simply uh, abort that, go to our wall style, and then edit the style. And we'll find in here that we have the materials that we've just created, or just imported, should I say. So component zero was our plaster, going down through our, our block, insulation, cavity, brick, and then concrete foundation. We can apply those settings. And now when we just do a regen, we'll see that we actually have those materials assigned on our wall. Now obviously this isn't looking much like a wall at the moment because we've got the, the foundation extending the full height of the, the building so what we need to do now is to tailor that. But to give us an idea what we're, we're going to be looking at here I've just put some datums in there so we're going to go down to minus 1150 here. So having selected the wall 
we'll add a cut line. So I'll come down to minus 1150, it could be anything we want there, from the bottom of the wall, and we'll see that now extends down to that level. So going back to our wall editing once again, we can now set about the task of editing the components to get the foundation in the right place. So if we just move that over to the, the left there, so it's when we open up our edit wall style dialog, we can just move that over and still see what we're concerned with. So we're going to go to the components and we'll see that we have our, our components here. So that's starting with the component zero, which was our plaster going down to the, the component five, which was the foundation. So taking a look at our foundation, we notice that it is 149 millimeters wide. Now, clearly from our original sketch of the wall, that's not correct. So what we'll do is we'll click onto that box there and we can change that. In fact, we could also change the name of the component if we wanted to make it more readily recognizable. Now, to get the foundation in the right place, what we can do is simply add, so we'll just type plus 149 into the edge offset there. So that would take us to the outer edge of our foundation and we can simply come back 600 millimeters. So that will give us a foundation in the correct place in terms of our horizontal placement. And now we need, simply need to get it in the right place in terms of the wall itself and the ground level. So we'll say that it's going to be at the top of the, the foundation is going to be minus 150 millimeters from our baseline. So that's our finished floor level. And then the, for the bottom of the elevation, we want it to extend down as far as we want. So we can type in, say, minus five, five meters. As long as the wall doesn't go below five, five meters uh, below the baseline, then the foundation will show it will finish at that point. And we're going to do that again from the baseline. So, OK, that. And then as far as the other components, we could see we've got component zero, component one, component two. So this, we could say, is going to be our insulation. And what we could do here is simply say that the, the bottom of the foundation is going to be zero, not from the wall bottom, but from the, the baseline. So it won't extend down below the baseline of the wall. OK, to that, close that down, and now we see that we have exactly what we need. So the insulation finishes at the baseline, and then the foundation extends to that bottom of the wall, uh, from the bottom of the wall, or minus 150, down to the bottom of the wall itself. If we decided that we wanted to run the insulation down further, we could simply edit the wall style. Go back to our components, noticing that it's retained the names that we put in there. We can simply pick onto uh, any of these uh, fields here, and we'll just say that the bottom is going to be minus 75 from the baseline. Closing that, and we'll see that that's taken the level of the insulation down. So a very quick way of taking the standard wall creation tool from lines and just modifying the result to give us a foundation. And of course, having created our wall and assigned the component materials there, we can now section our wall to get a section with the materials material shown and then if we extend our section down below the level of the foundation we can simply select and refresh the section there to give us the full detail.